Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Honest Homemaking. And today we are going to talk about my six week postpartum update. This is not the ideal way that I wanted to have this update. Obviously I have no makeup on. Um, my hair is kind of a wreck and it is you probably can't see my watch now. It's 11.15 at night um, on Monday, September 24th. So I keep like trying to do these videos when I think it's the ideal time or the ideal settings um, and they just aren't happening. And I know that time just keeps flying by so I'm, I'm just jumping in and doing it and this is just real life right now. Um, with a six week old I don't have a lot of time to um, get ready. I don't have a lot of time to set things up and I'm filming this at 11.15 at night because he finally just went down for the night. He's downstairs with his daddy and I just now have a few minutes and I really want to get to bed so uh, we will keep this pretty short. So um, I've had an amazing postpartum journey this time. Um, when I had Leo, I had a little bit of postpartum depression. Um, I cried a lot. He was a difficult baby. He was. Um, he cried a lot. <laughs> and I couldn't put him down. And he just, he was a difficult baby. I, this is my fourth one and he has by far been the most difficult. And he's so amazing and I love him so much. So um, it was definitely worth it. But I think that that caused me to have some postpartum blues. And, you know, I know that they kind of just happen sometimes, too. I cried a lot with Leo. And I, I keep saying that I'm afraid to jinx it because we have had the smoothest journey so far. Aside, he had jaundice and had to be under the belly lights for a day. But besides that, it's, it's gone super well. I feel amazing. Um, I have my postpartum, I don't I haven't had my appointment yet. Uh, it's not until this Wednesday, but I, I plan to tell her the same thing that I'm telling you, and that's just that I feel like my normal self. I've actually felt pretty much back to normal since like a few days after birth, uh, which I think is just astounding. It was the easiest. I had to push a little longer this time, but it was a very easy delivery. Um, I was, as soon as I pulled my epidural out and I had a little feeling in my legs, we were up and moving around. Took a shower pretty much immediately after. I plan to do a separate six week update for baby Mason. Hopefully I can do that tomorrow while he's still six weeks old. I don't want him to be seven weeks or eight weeks. I also would like to do a labor and delivery story because that was, I still haven't got to explain that to you. It was a whirlwind, um, but I'm still trying to keep this on, on point, on focus. Um, oh, uh, as far as weight goes, um, when my like normal, you know how people have like normal resting weights where their body generally stays? Mine generally stays around 140 pounds. I mean, I'm short, so I'd like it to stay a little lower than that, but that's generally what it rests at. Um, but when I got pregnant with Mason, uh, on the first day, day of my first appointment, I had actually lost a few pounds and I weighed 154 pounds. Um, he is six weeks old. I just weighed in today. We have, we started doing the keto diet on Saturday. So this is day three. Um, I hadn't, before then I hadn't been doing anything. I worked out when I felt good and when I had extra time, which was rarely with a newborn. Um, I think I've worked out four times <laughs> in six weeks. So it's not been a lot, um, but I weigh now 158 pounds, so I'm four pounds from my pre-pregnancy weight, but I am still like 14, like I'm like 20 pounds higher than I would like to be, um, but that really isn't due to baby, that's just due to me not being kind to my body. Um, I don't feel good when I don't eat right. I have, um, 
I don't know exactly what it's called, but like my body is very sensitive to sugars and sweets. Um, I think they call it insulin resistance or something. But anyway, I just, I feel really crappy, really crappy when I eat junk food. And that's all I've really eaten for like the past year. Before I got pregnant and while I was pregnant, I just ate crappy. Um, I'm going to do another update on the keto diet. So far, I'm kind of loving it. Um, not going to lie. Uh, but I'll save that for that video because I don't want to spoil it. But, uh, yeah, so I hope to lose a few more pounds. Um, but I, uh, I feel pretty much like my normal self. I am so thankful not to have any postpartum depression. We pretty much get about seven hours of sleep a night. Um, I have to get up to get the boys up for school at seven. So I try to get in bed by 11, which <laughs> it is past 11 now, so that's not gonna happen. But um, I try to get in bed by about 11 o'clock and then Mason usually wakes me up about two or three times a night, depending. I, I like, I wanna not jinx myself here, but uh, last night he slept from 11 p.m. until 4 a.m. So I got five uninterrupted hours and it was amazing. It was so, oh, I needed it. And I'm hoping that he'll do the same. So he's pretty much a great baby. I really can't complain. Um, I'm looking forward to being able to start working out again, like regularly, because I feel better when I do. I have more energy. I'm hoping that uh, my new diet will help spur that on. Um, I do want to take a quick second to talk about Leo because he's adjusted so well too. I just, I feel like I'm at such a good place in my life right now. Um, yes, it's hectic and yes, I am tired a lot and I do get stressed uh, when he's, oh, yesterday we were in a car for like three hours and that's hard. Uh, like I'm a, I'm a breastfeeding pro so I can climb in the back seat and I can feed him while we're going down the road but he just got so tired of being in the seat that even though I had changed him and even though I fed him he just cried for like the last 45 minutes home and that is hard on a mom like I kept giving him his passy I was sitting right next to him shushing him I kept trying to give him my boob and the only time he would not cry was when he had the boob in his mouth but he wasn't really eating it so I still get stressed that was very stressful um, but he is a really good baby and I'm very happy oh I think that my postpartum hair loss has started um, you can't tell yet, but I've noticed a lot of hair coming out when I wash it, um, which is sad because I love, that's one of, I have normally like kind of thin hair anyway, and that's one of the best things about pregnancy when I'm pregnant. I love my hair so much. It gets thicker and prettier and healthier, uh, and then it all falls out and it looks patchy. Like I get, I'll get, you can kind of already see it. I'll get patches right here where it falls out. Um, but you know, it comes back, it grows back. Um, breastfeeding is going really well, but you know, my body I think was already used to it from Leo. My milk came in like the next day after he was born. Uh, he has nursed like a champ. He has gained a ton of weight. Uh, when he was born, he weighed eight pounds, two ounces, and he now weighs about 14 pounds. <laughs> Uh, in six weeks and that, that was actually about a week ago so I'm sure he weighs more than that now um, he's you know he's doing great with the breastfeeding I did worry that uh, he had maybe a little bit of sensitivity to dairy in my diet because when he was first born he was spitting up a lot he was fussy with a gassy tummy and he had some you know rash on his face but uh, that actually cleared up um, if I, since I started the keto diet, I'm clearly eating a lot of dairy, of dairy, a lot of heavy cream, cream cheese, cheese, and he doesn't seem to have a problem with that anymore, so I think it just was his little body adjusting to breast milk and being out of the womb. So I'm going to try to show you my belly, or not my, not my belly, because I don't like showing a lot of skin on the YouTubes, but uh, I'm going to try to show you just the general size of my belly. 
but I don't have a lot of room here. It's kind of a small room. Let's see. I have to take this one off. Okay, so there you can kind of see it. As you see, I still have quite a little pooch going here. Um, so look like I'm like four months pregnant, and I can see that I've got some arm flab. But, uh, you know, that's all part of having a baby and will go away. Oh, and I don't know many people that carry their weight in this place, but I carry my weight. Like my hips are narrower than like where this fatty part sits. So, I still have, you know, a little bit of, like I would like to tone her up a little. Tone her up, lose a little bit of the the excess weight because I don't I have an apple shaped body you know I carry all of my weight in the upper half of my body so like in my arms right there you can really see it uh, in my face and uh, oh mm, the back fat areas so I never no matter how much I weigh I always have tiny little stick legs and a tiny little butt and then the rest of my body from there on up just expands. Uh, which is not flattering on a woman. It's not flattering at all. So definitely I'm hoping to remedy that. But anyway, that's pretty much my six week update. I know that there wasn't a lot to go over. Um, I feel back to normal. I feel like my normal old self. I feel a thousand times better than I did while I was pregnant because if you remember in my last update, I was so uncomfortable. Um, he was always like way up in my ribs and he was a long baby. He was 20 and a half inches long. So he his butt would be all the way up in my ribs and his head would be like down on my pubic bone. So it was uncomfortable, but we made it through. Uh, anyway, that is my six-week postpartum, postpartum? <laughs> that is my six-week postpartum update. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will be back with a six-week baby update and a keto update. So be on the lookout for those. I'm excited to share those with you guys. And I just wanted to say uh, that I have had some really nice, really amazing comments on my last couple videos. Um, you guys, you make it feel like I have a tribe, like I have a community, because in real life, um, my, my family has all kind of gone its own separate ways. Um, my mother passed away, my dad has never really been in my life very much, um, two of my siblings have passed away, and I, I have a... A sister who I love very much and a brother who I love very much but to be perfectly honest we don't see each other very often so you know it kind of bums me out and I don't really feel like I have a whole slew of people around me uh, but when you guys leave the amazing comments that you have been leaving lately it makes me feel like I have a community and like I have people rooting for me and that I think has helped me a lot too. So thank you guys so much for the sweet kind comments. They really do mean the world to me. I do my best to reply to them, uh, to reply to every one of them, but you know that does get difficult sometimes with a newborn. So uh, you know forgive me if I have a hair. Okay any other mommies or ladies with long hair get a hair caught up under your shirt and then you keep trying to grab it and you just can't what I'm dealing with right now. Anyway, I'm going to get some sleep. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like and subscribe if you haven't already because why not? Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.